If you could keep traffic moving, save driver's gas, reduce the number of deadly crashes, and cut auto pollution, would you do it? We can do that by converting South Carolina intersections to roundabouts. The roundabout is a more simplistic approach. It's a safer uh, device to be utilized. We've had roundabouts for uh, over 15 years now. Communities love uh, our roundabouts. Uh, aesthetically, they're very pleasing. It's something that a lot of people support. Um, they operate very well. They're safe and effective devices to be utilized. What makes a roundabout so effective? Because all traffic moves around these circles to the right, you minimize the chance of collisions. Less chance for head-on crashes or T-bones. No more hazardous left turns, as cars flow in and out of the circle in the same direction. When roundabouts are installed in place of traffic lights, we see a 35% reduction in total crashes, a 75% reduction in crashes that cause injury, and fatal crashes are all but eliminated. Traffic circles are not only safer, they're more user-friendly too. Drivers don't have to sit and wait for lights to change when there's no traffic coming. That means cars spend less time idling, use less gas, and give off less emissions. Splitter islands make traffic circles pedestrian friendly. A truck apron means that the turning radius can accommodate vehicles of every size. And over time, a roundabout costs no more to operate than a traffic light. Once installed, the roundabout doesn't use electricity or require as much maintenance. In South Carolina, we already have some roundabouts in use, and more are on the way. We were very apprehensive in the beginning when we first saw the plans for the traffic circle, but after the, uh, the circle's completion, uh, we've, we've been very pleased. It slowed the traffic down on this road a good bit and we were able to uh, decrease our responses to traffic accidents at that intersection. Prior to the circle, we were running around 10, 10 to 12 accidents at that intersection a year. The circle's been complete now for a little over two years. And we've ran one traffic accident and it was a very minor uh, fender bender bump up at the intersection. Traffic keeps moving at all times through the intersection. And instead of having T-bone crashes, the traffic accidents drop to a negligible number. The chances of loss of life are dramatically less. All you need to do is drive through it a couple of times and you'll realize how much better it is than sitting and waiting on oncoming traffic. And they just make sense. Roundabouts. Turns out a circle is the most direct route to better safety and easier driving in South Carolina.